Hey there, how are you doing team? Nokia Power is here and in this video we will uh, do the hands-on with uh, Nokia 5 which runs Android Audio Beta. Uh, HMD has started pushing Android Audio Beta to Nokia 5 via Nokia Beta Labs and uh, Nokia 6 is uh, the next in the line so uh, if you have a Nokia 5 for now you can go to <coughs> Nokia Beta Labs and uh, register for getting the Android Audio Beta on your device. So uh, in this video, not only we'll take a look at uh, general Android Oreo uh, features and changes, we will also take a look at the special uh, Nokia 5 specific changes uh, and new features which has arrived with uh, Android Oreo Beta. In, in our uh, previous video, we talked about the new camera app which uh, HMD has pushed with uh, this Android Oreo Beta. <clears throat> but let's uh, talk about more about the Android Oreo uh, beta changes and features and we will also talk about the performance part how it has like kind of impacted uh, Nokia 5 so far so let's <clears throat> quickly check here so if you go to uh, system you will see this that system update has uh, made it <clears throat> to Android 8.00 so now coming to the general changes between <clears throat> Android Oreo you can notice uh, how much uh, the whole you know this notification or notification center changes all the icons they generally have undergone changes basically uh, this whole uh, menu item which is like for editing this uh, quick action buttons and then the settings these all have moved to the bottom here with lots of changes in the icons and this now has got a kind of grayish theme so earlier it would be uh, kind of <clears throat> bit of darker but here android audio makes it Kind of so it's like a uh, lot of changes and it makes it more compact and uh, you know it will catch your notice very easily so that is a thing now if you go to settings you will again see the settings they have undergone lots of changes i mean the settings were like all uh, a big list here in uh, in, in nogat and it was always challenging to scroll down a lot and then go to your uh, desired settings here what has been done that there are now major headings and under them uh, the you know a kind of uh, settings have been categorized so let's say network and internet now it houses many uh, settings here so you will have to go to there and you can check wi-fi mobile network etc <clears throat> then similarly you see this connect devices apps and notifications so i mean broadly these are the major uh, you know settings now system google accessibility user accounts security location storage sound etc and under all these settings you will get even more settings so what you used to see so here one more nice thing is that if you go to like apps and notification settings you can see the kind of you know advanced so these many settings are again under like this advanced uh, advanced heading and you can uh, kind of tap on it to access so all in all easy accessibility uh, improvement in user experience that is what uh, comes with uh, you know Android Audio in terms of UI changes. Settings have changed a lot, and then you see this action or notification center has changed a lot. But the focus is on user experience improvement. <clears throat> now, if you go to the apps and notifications, you can actually uh, see even more uh, you know changes. We'll just talk about them. So. So many changes are in the uh, notifications part so now it's it's uh, uh, if you allow then you can see notification dot for the apps different apps here and then you can choose which categories of notification you want to see uh, on your device so here in case of duo if i allow notification dot dot it will show otherwise it will not show what are notification dot so here you can see in case of uh, the google play you see this dot which shows that a notification is available so this is called notification dot so this is a new feature which has arrived with android audio for apps <clears throat> similarly uh, as we were trying to show so you can actually control whether you want to see the notification dot on your uh, home screen for any app or not that you can do from here then you have other categories so you you can choose which category of app, uh, notification you want to see so uncategorized call notifications so if there are call notifications you want to see them or not you can just allow or uh, you know disallow whatever from here so this this is a new stuff again there is one more thing so if you go to the advanced so you see this picture in picture mode 
so uh, this is special uh, if the uh, kind of like uh, if the if the developer allows this picture in picture mode so what happens that if you are uh, in this uh, app and you are watching a video or doing something so if you if you like uh, minimize leave the home screen uh, this uh, video will still keep playing in a smaller screen on uh, on your home screen even if you are using any other app <clears throat> so this kind of you know uh, you know the, like for duo if you allow it will do this picture in picture or else it will not do so not many apps support it for now but here i mean duo shows it it vlc kind of supports it so you can check it so these are the common you know and apart from them so obviously it's not complete actually so apart from them uh, you, you have many features you have new emoji so all all new emoji set here then gif search stickers so all these have like again arrived with uh, android audio And then uh, there is one autofill kind of autofill feature which allows you to you know fill passwords for the apps that you want so you if you feel you know a sim i mean if your single account is being used in many apps you can just uh, allow you to autofill your passwords then there is one more very nice feature which is uh, when you go to the <clears throat> i mean mail and if anything arrives so in a mail if uh, uh, kind of address is there or phone number is there if you select it it will allow you to you know do different things so it's kind of machine learning so let's say if you select a phone address or something phone number it will give an option to calling it if you select an simple address so it will give you an option to uh, find it on the map etc so that is how it works so these were all common and wide audio feature which have arrived now let's go to the some kind of you know <clears throat> unique or like new features which are unique to the Nokia Android phones. So as I said earlier, <laughs> there is one feature which is uh, Nightlight, which was Pixel exclusive till the time Nokia 8 got it and now it's available on Nokia 5.2. <clears throat> so what Nightlight does, it allows you to make your, uh, you know, display amber when it is night so that it, it give, goes easy on your eyes and you can do more like you can read a book, ebook, etc. <clears throat> so this is this kind of feature and you can actually increase and decrease the intensity of how your display changes. So you can manually switch it on and switch it off, change the intensity and you can also set a, a custom schedule or sunset to sunrise whatever you want. So on sunset which it will decide itself I think it's 10 to 6 so on 10 uh, pm it will make it amber. So this is how it works. So now another good feature which we kind of observed. So now here if you want to you know uh, bring on the app drawer you can just swipe up from anywhere. So this was not available on the Android Nougat. Now you can swipe out from here also and uh, the app drawer comes out. So it's very very nice. You don't need to go here and swipe up. You can do here. <laughs> it's neat, right? <clears throat> and this is, uh, I think, specific to uh, Nokia or Nokia uh, Android phone because I, I am not sure whether uh, if you check on Nexus 5X, then uh, the default UI launcher is like you have to go here and tap. So when you tap, then you get the app drawer on. So it's kind of a nice feature to have here. Yeah. Now coming to the performance part. <clears throat> so uh, when we talk about how Nokia 5 performs uh, with Android Audio, we tried to check one thing, uh, an issue which was uh, causing the apps to reset or restart when we used to send them to the background. So we will quickly check that. So here, So, as you can see, <clears throat> okay, let's quickly send them once and then we will check.
so it kind of seems like a, a mixed bag still and we're trying to uh, you know just trying to uh, resume the app from the background then still we are seeing that the same kind of you know the app does not resume it kind of gets restarted here so i think still uh, hmd needs to fix this issue 